In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get CapCut onto your computer. So let's get started. <laughs> First of all, open up your browser and then in the search bar, type in BlueStacks and then hit enter. Over here, click on the link that says BlueStacks best mobile gaming platform for PC and Mac. And then once this page is opened up, just click on download BlueStacks 10 and we just click on save and just wait for it to completely download the installer. Once it's done installing, open up File Explorer and then open up the Downloads folder. Now here as you can see, we have the BlueStacks installer right here. Just double click on it and over here, just click on install now. Once it's done downloading, open up the desktop and open up BlueStacks X right here. And over here, just click on OK right here. And click on OK once again right here and then once again over here. Now here, as you can see, we have the BlueStacks files icon. Just open it up by just clicking on it. Here, as you can see, BlueStacks file has fired up. Let me just click on the Maximus button over here. As you can see, how my cursor has changed right here. And this kind of looks like a tablet device. This looks like the home screen of a tablet device. Now all you gotta do is just open up the Play Store application right here. Just open it up by just clicking on it. Here as you can see Play Store has opened up. Just wait for it to load up. Over here just click on sign in. Over here just type in your email, whatever it is. And just click on next. And then just type in your password. And then go ahead and click on I agree. And then once you sign in, you might get an email saying that someone has signed into your account using this device. It might show a device that you might not be recognizing. That is because BlueStacks has created a mobile phone or something or a virtual account. If you go ahead and click on settings right here. Over here as you can see we have the option to choose the number of cores that you want to allocate for this virtual machine. You could even set the RAM count to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 4 GB. And just go ahead and click on save changes and then just click on restart now. Let me just go to settings once again. And if you open up device right here, as you can see, we have the option to choose a profile. You can go from an Asus ROG 2 to a Google Pixel or a OnePlus 3 8 or any other device that you want. You can just change it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it as OnePlus 5. Now, whatever device name shows right here, you might get an email once you've signed in saying that. Someone has signed into your account using this OnePlus 5 or any other device. Many people might be afraid by thinking that someone has signed into your account. Many people might think that someone else has signed into your account, but it's actually you who has signed into your account using this virtual machine. Let me just go ahead and just close this down. Let me just open up Play Store once again. You know, here as you can see, I'm signed into my account. Now all you gotta do is open up the search bar and type in CapCut. And then go ahead and click on Enter. And over here, go ahead and hit install. Alright, once it's done installing, just click on the home icon over here. Here, as you can see, we have CapCut on our home screen. Just go ahead and click on that. And we just go ahead and click on accept. You can close the background BlueStacks X window right here. BlueStacks X this window right here. You can just go ahead and close it. And just keep BlueStacks 5 open instead. And over here, as you can see, CapCut has opened up just like how it opens up on our mobile phones. But the only difference is that here, it looks a lot bigger. Let me just go ahead and click on New Project. And if I click on Allow over here. Now here, as you can see, it says no, there's nothing here. Start recording memories now. That is because there isn't a single picture or video on our virtual machine. So go ahead and click on the Hope button over here. And just go ahead and open up the System Apps folder. And then open up Media Manager. And then go ahead and click on Import from Windows. Here as you can see, File Explorer has opened up in which you can choose any kind of document that you want. I'm going to go ahead and just select this background right here. Let me just click on Open. And over here as you can see, it's right now on my media page right here. Now if I click on this icon right here. And let me just open up CapCut once again. Let me just close this down. Let me just click on New Project once again. And here as you can see our photo is showing up right here. Let me just select it and let me just click on add. And here as you can see CapCut has opened up right here and everything looks a lot bigger. Here as you can see I can add text, audio, I can even cut and trim the images. And everything just like how it works on our mobile phone is showing up right here except that it's a lot bigger. And yeah, we've successfully got CapCut onto our computer. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.